But is there anything that you weren't working on in high school that once you got to college, whether it's getting exposed to Kayla or just the coaches at BC or just playing with better players, that once after that first freshman year and you got hurt, once you started get, getting ready for your next year, it's like, all right, I really need to focus on this and this is how I'm going to do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, I think like my biggest thing wasn't necessarily a physical thing, but I didn't realize getting come coming from high, uh, high school to college, like the amount of communication there is on offense. Um, like you think of communication, you think about defense, like talking about slides and all that stuff. And like when we got, when I got to BC, like I was a mouse and I didn't talk, which was made it really hard for my coaches, like telling me to talk, talking about like, I'm going to come set a pick for you or, or a flip. So that was a really difficult thing. Or even just like asking for the ball. Like I just would put my stick up and like hope they would see me. Like I, I didn't realize that I needed to use my voice. I needed to like talk through people, tell them to cut through or have myself like tell a person to dodge. So I, that was like a big thing. And even up until my senior year, like sometimes I get in my own head and I don't talk freshman year was more that like I didn't realize I had to um but I think communication was definitely like my biggest thing that I I've always needed to work work on when you say when you say sometimes you get in your head and and don't talk do you think that's something where it's like I'm getting frustrated I'm just gonna put my head down and, and try to make a play and do you think that's still like a slight weakness of yours or why do you think that is sometimes yeah, that's definitely like my, I, I, that's always been like a big week of just mine. Something my senior year was like my biggest focus. Like my biggest goal was to, when I'm playing bad or when I'm having a hard time to not, not get quiet. And I've, I've definitely gotten a lot better at it. It's, I think for any athlete, it's hard to, to keep up this like excitement and, and whatnot when, when you're personally like having a hard time. But it's a skill that as a leader and as a teammate, you need to have. Um, it's it's something that even as a coach now, like when I see the girls doing it, I'm like, come on, like your team needs you. Like, how could you do that? But like I was in their shoes only a few months ago or a year ago at this point. So it it's hard. It's easier to say than do sometimes. But I think if you're conscious of it and you, you're aware um, it makes it a little bit easier to kind of see and, and notice. 